Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel Budget with Bliss. My name is Katie and this channel is all about keeping myself accountable of my budget and finances, using the cash stuffing method and creating general financial well-being and we're also on a debt-free journey too. Um, hope you're all doing well and having a great week so far. Um, it is Monday today as I am filming this um, and I have got some money to cash stuff that I've kind of side hustled. Again, I had... Um, another Game Boy that I was keeping and I've had for years and years and years that I managed to sell over the weekend. So um, that has brought in um, £40 after postage and fees. Um, and then I also had some money left over from the weekend. Um, so yeah, I've just got a little bit of uh, money to kind of distribute across some challenges. Um, I'm not going to game day today. I am going to kind of choose and pick where the money will be going apologies for my nails um i have peeled off my gels as i am getting them done tomorrow so uh yeah i'll have a nice set tomorrow hopefully um before i kind of start though i do want to show you some happy mail that i've received this morning um in the post that i wasn't expecting um it just arrived and i was like what is this um but the amazing abby at budget with abby has sent me some lovely happy mail um so let me show you what she sent me so first off she sent me these amazing tin stickers that she is doing currently in her shop uh so this one is a 10 pounds savings challenge um so yeah if you've got one of those money tins um you would stick this on the side um or any kind of tin or jar or something like that um that you could reuse if you don't have a money tin doesn't have to be Take the money tin anything really um that you could stick on and then pop the money in and cross off or color in as you go um so yeah this one saves 320 pounds and this is really nice it's like um basically budget of abby like her logo um the design there on that so that's really really pretty and then the up up and away uh which she does have as a savings challenge uh that you can get for uh the binders um she's also made this into a sticker for a tin as well and that saves 195 pounds and that's all different denominations so yeah this one is beautiful and obviously is just like the movie up which is lovely um so thank you for those abby they're my first tin stickers so um i've got a couple of um i don't have the tins but i've got a couple of empty jars that i I just kind of put the jars aside every now and then. Um, so I've got some gherkin jars. <laughs> I love a gherkin. <laughs> uh, don't come at me, but I absolutely love gherkins. Um, don't you go try and throw away your gherkin out of your McDonald's around me. I will have it. <laughs> I think I love them. Um, so yeah, I will maybe use one of those um, and repurpose those and uh, get one of these stickers on the side. Um, so that's exciting. I'll look to putting that into my budget at some point. So thank you for those, Abby. Um, and then in here, I can see some amazing stickers. Look at this. Look how psychedelic and funky these are. So there's a mermaid, which is me. Like, I have a mermaid tattoo. Love it. Little alien giving us a peace sign, a cassette or a tape. Uh, that is a throwback, but I am of that generation. Uh, and a little, little psychedelic cat, a little ruby. Oh. Uh, apologies for the lighting, by the way. Um, the sun has just gone in, and when it is out, it is mega bright at the moment. So there's a little thank you card here from Abby, uh, but I won't show you it because um, it is personalised. So I will leave that and look at these little I guess these are the freebies that Abby um is giving out when you make an order with her at the moment so look at this I feel good <laughs> thank you for those of you who said you enjoyed my singing on the last video <laughs> apologies to those of you who have not commented and have unsubscribed <laughs> no doubt <laughs> um but um yeah this is so cool uh, each banana is worth two pounds <laughs> look how happy he is oh that was so cute <laughs> but uh yeah so that i think is the freebies you're getting at the moment i assume um and also this little moon one so sweet obviously um abby's daughter uh she calls little moon all of the time so this must be in honor of her so lovely and then she sent me these gorgeous witchy 
pastel goth vibe challenges. These are a vibe. I love them. So this one is, it's a witchy thing and you've got the potions and the tarot cards. Uh, so each potion is worth three pounds and a card is worth five. And you've got bats and coffins. How sweet is that? Oh, I love the colour scheme so, so much. And how all of these, the, the backgrounds are all the same. Like they just tie in together so well. And again, the bats are three, coffins are five. And then ghost town. <laughs> He's an angry ghost. <laughs> And each icon of there is worth um, five pounds. They are so sweet. Thank you so much, Abby. Um, and then there's a little Galentine's Day challenge. Um, the note does say Happy Galentine's from Abby. So that is just the sweetest. Uh, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. It's made my day today. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to starting this one. And you know, don't know what's underneath. So, and it's all shiny scratch off as well, which is like the best. So yeah, thank you so much, Abby. Um, if you don't already, please go over to her channel and subscribe and watch her content. She is great fun and she's so supportive and really does like reach out and like cares about everyone in this community. Like she is just an absolute star. Um, and also follow, have a look on her shop on Etsy as well uh, if there's any of these challenges that you're interested in. I think she does physical as well as some digital downloads as well. So um, even if you're not in the UK, uh, you can get hold of her stuff digitally. So yeah, go and take a look. Um, I'm going to pop this one straight into a binder, I think. So let me get these out of the way. And I'm going to pop it in here. So this is my binder for kind of like buffer money, leftover money, just kind of doesn't really have a purpose um, money. So when I kind of finish these challenges, I'll either spend the money or reallocate it. Um, so yeah, that's going to go in there. Excuse me. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got to play with today um so i've got 5 10 15 25 35 yeah that is right 45 pounds because yeah i withdrew 50 pounds out of the bank which was the leftover money and money from the game boy and i spent four pounds 50 whilst i was in the shop so yeah 45 pounds. I was thinking, well, oh, I've lost a fiver there, but I haven't I've spent it. Uh, okay, so to start with, um, yeah, I'm going to start actually with the Galentine's challenge. Why not? Let's kick off with uh, a brand new challenge and we don't know what it's going to be. So uh, we'll work from there with what we'll do with the rest of the money. But look how shiny it is. So pretty. Thank you so much again, Abby. Uh, right, so let's just start top left and go from there. Oh, look at that. This is like a girl power kind of vibe. Putting your fists up, like supporting each other icon there. And it's worth three pounds. So that is a great start to this challenge. So scoop all those little bits out of the way. Lovely jubbly. So, uh, we're using this envelope, aren't we? So, one, two, three, go in there and got that one started. Brilliant. Oh, all right, I figured out what it is. <laughs> so, it is the scratch off savings challenge from Dilly Dally Budget. So, this was a freebie from an order. Uh, so if you're doing this one, look away now if you don't want to see what it is. Ah, so £10 is going in here then today. Just get the flow. Uh, okay. So this is 70 in total. So we've got five in here already. And we'll put in... 10, so it's 15 pounds in here now. 
So that's great. So that's my giggling one in the year. Okay, so that's it in terms of like scratch offs and stuff. So I'm going to put five pounds into this challenge whilst we have it out. So this is to the moon and back from Eva at the Rocking Witch. And it saves five pounds in total. Ah, it doesn't say five in total, it saves 70 in total. But I'm going to put in five. So we've got uh, 10, 15, 20 pounds in here now. Okay, let's put that in there. That's it for that one, I think. over to this savings challenge binder and we're going to complete the challenge that we're doing for Rockfit at the moment which is the Doe Bay 3 from Cash But Cute. Look at that, so shiny. So we've just got £5 left to put in here, so £2 for the cake and £3 for the brownie. And that is it completed mate. As Lucy would say. So let's pop that in there. So we've got five, 10 and 30 in total. And I've used an erasable pen on this so I can rub it out. But they do now come laminated, I believe. Okay, and I'm gonna put six pounds in here because then I can put in denominations of like 10 and stuff because um, there's an odd six. I think it says 96 in total. I've got 30 in there now. So these are 16 each row. So 32, 64, 66. Yeah. So let's colour in three crystals. They're all worth two pounds each. Two, four, six. Wafty, wafty. So we've got 20, 35, 36 in there now. Okay, what have we got left? 5, 10, 15, 16. Um, Let's put a fiver into Cinderella. Cinderella cash. Should get my words out. This challenge is from Grounded Budgets. So uh, the next five is there. We probably could look at condensing down this side and putting in colouring one of the bigger numbers on this side now, but I think I'll keep going a little bit longer and see how we go. So we have got. 50 in the bank, 70, 85 in here now. And that is going towards our holiday in October. But, um, it's payday tomorrow for me, so um, I will maybe cash stuff tomorrow, Wednesday. I'm not sure. It depends how busy I am. So I'll get my nails done tomorrow after work. Um, so if I get time, I'll cash stuff tomorrow. But if not, um, it'll be Wednesday, but I'll be putting in more into this challenge going forwards um, to get it paid off before uh, July, I think the money is due by, to pay off the balance. So, yeah. Uh, I'll put £5 into Magic Beans. This is really getting there now, which is good because I need the money to pay off the last little bit on the credit card I bought the ticket for before I get charged interest. So, yeah. And this envelope is from Eva at The Rocking Witch and the Challenge Magic Beans is from Grounded Budgets. So we've got 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, five. Oh, five pounds short of 200. Oh, should I put that last fiver in there or not? Oh, so tempting. And then what we'll do with a pound? Hmm. No, I won't. I'll be good. I will um, figure out where I'm going to put that. Six quid. Um, okay. So let's 
So I might do another roll on the pumpkin faces. Um, everything in this binder is going towards the Halloween ball that I'm going to in October this year. Uh, so there's not really anything kind of, there's like fiver in here so far. I'm not really started properly saving. So um, yeah, let's do a roll on this and hope we don't get a three or a six. Ooh, do I do that then or not? Oh, blimey. I can't think. Mm. No, I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> I can't risk it. I don't want to owe it money. Even though it's a quid, I don't want to owe it money. Um, da -da 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 -da. Right, let's start this challenge from the Rocking Witch till death do us part. Um, so this is part of the Valentine's range um, from either the Rocking Witch and each little card has got an amount to save on each one so uh, each icon on this page is worth two pounds um so if we put in six pounds we can cross off three of these today uh, go purple i think so two four six and a little blue lovely let's pop that back in there and um, this envelope uh, again was from uh, the Rocking Witch, and is a separate um, thing bought separately. Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that is all of the money gone. Um, so yeah, another successful week in terms of like side hustling. I mean, I only sold one thing, but it was worth quite a bit. So I'm happy with that. Like. For some reason I can't get my head in the game of like putting up loads of different things to sell at one time. Um, I'm just kind of coping with putting up one thing at a time at the moment. So um, yeah, don't know why I can't get my head around it um, on eBay. I can do it for Vinted, but not eBay. I don't know. I'm just skeptical. Skept skeptical when it's something that's like 50 quid or like 30 quid. To me, that's a lot of money. Um, so I'm just want to make sure I don't make any mistakes and accidentally send someone something to the wrong person or um yeah I worry about them trying to send it back or saying it's not arrived and things like that and I just can't I can't have that anxiety <laughs> for so many different um things that I've, if I've sold them all at once you know what I mean uh, I'm waffling on now anyway um so you're having a really good week and um, thank you so much for subscribing if you have subscribed if you aren't please hit the button below it is free and uh, leave me a comment below about which of the challenges from Abby is your favorite and I look forward to speaking to you in the comments take care bye